they are both made out of aluminum and polycarbonate and glass. And they both have fancy names for their cameras. Ultra Pixel, PureView. One runs Android, the other one runs Windows Phone 8. So let's see how they compare. If you want to know every detail and aspect of the HTC One, make sure to check out our full review in case you missed it. This version right here is the international flavor of the HTC One, just like the Nokia Lumia 925, which will make its way to T-Mobile in the US, hopefully soon. We have also just recently compared the Lumia 925 with the octa-core Samsung Galaxy S4, and now it's time to put it against HTC's 2013 flagship. This comparison will focus on the following. Hardware, software and user experience, as well as camera. The Nokia Lumia 925 is a breath of fresh air with a design which is both old and new. Nokia Windows Phone fans will instantly recognize this as a Lumia device, but the company made some welcome tweaks. It is no longer the tank the Lumia 920 was. Instead, it's more refined, and the combination of aluminum and soft-touch polycarbonate result in a great in-hand feel, once you get used to the fairly square shape. The HTC One, on the other hand, is something completely new. To the untrained eye, it might look somewhat like the iPhone 5 or the BlackBerry Z10, but it feels exceptionally in the hand. The full aluminum body is cold to the touch at first, and the tapered edges are complemented nicely by the slight curve on the back that feels your palm when you hold it. Because of the slightly more curved design on the edges, the HTC One feels really good, but the Lumia 925 has that certain je ne sais quoi which makes you fall in love with it more and more every day as you're getting used to the squared shape. Looking at the specs requires us to understand the basic OS principles and the relationship between them and the horsepower needed. Windows Phone was built in such a way that it, just like iOS, simply needs less specs to deliver a fluid user experience. The Lumia 925 is powered by a dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor clocked at 1.5GHz helped by 1GB of RAM. It has 16GB of internal storage with no expansion options, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC and a non-removable 2000mAh battery. The entire front part is Gorilla Glass 2, under which Nokia packed a 4.5-inch Pure Motion HD Plus clear-back display with 768x1280 resolution, for a PPI rating of 332. The camera is PureView version 2, at 8.7 megapixels, with Carl Zeiss lens, coupled with a 1.3 megapixel front facer. The HTC One is powered by the quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor, clocked at 1.7 GHz. There are 2 gigs of RAM, and this unit is the 32 GB flavor, non-expandable. Sensors include Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, and an IR blaster, alongside a non-removable 2300 mAh battery. On the front, there's a 4.7-inch Super LCD 3 screen, a Full HD resolution and a PPI rating of 469. The camera is a 4-megapixel, air quotes, ultra-pixel unit, and it has a 2.1-megapixel webcam correspondent on the front. Oh, and Boom Sound offers the best speaker and loudspeaker experience we have ever heard on a mobile device. Ever. It is really difficult to choose the best display among the two. The Lumia 925 being an AMOLED screen has really popping colors and true blacks, while the HTC One has a very natural, realistic color reproduction with somewhat less pronounced blacks. If we factor in exceptional outdoor visibility for both of these, the choice becomes even more difficult. We'll have to give it to the HTC One, because of its true-to-life colors, better side viewing angles, and higher resolution. Looking at the software and user experience of an Android phone compared to a Windows phone is always difficult, since each of the two platforms is everything the other one is not. Sense 5 nicely complements the user experience on Android. That's not to say that the stock Android UX is lacking. We're not talking about skinning Android here. Sense 5 is so much more. The live picture gallery, the ability of snapping Zoe's, video highlights, Beats audio, Blink feed, are all part of the HTC experience. Of course, there will be a Google Edition phone, but the one is a real one because of Sense 5. Windows Phone on the Lumia 925 still looks fresh, different. Live tiles flipping on your home screen bring your phone to life and keep you up to date with what's important. The hubs nicely gather all the information you need in a single place, and on an exceptional screen like the one on the Lumia 925, everything seems to float on the absolute black background. Similar to HTC Sense 5 on the One, Nokia is both filling in the OS gaps and offers additional user experience elements. The Hearshoot, Nokia Music, the camera and add-on applications are all great steroids for Windows Phone on the Lumia 925. But, as always, there's the ecosystem question, always a debate. We'll insert the usual disclaimer here. Before purchasing any of these phones, make sure to research the ecosystem and what each has to offer both in terms of software titles and services. 
The camera on the Lumia 925 is a PureView camera. No, not the Stage 1 PureView on the 808, but version 2, the low light sensitivity and optical image stabilization PureView from the Lumia 920. There's an 8.7 megapixel sensor coupled with Carl Zeiss lens. Nokia threw in a sixth lens in addition to the camera construction of the 920 to make pictures look even better. The viewfinder on Windows Phone is so minimalistic that it is missing any indicators that you're shooting in a special mode. Luckily, it reverts to default upon launching it again, so you don't miss a shot because of previous settings or modes. There is, however, support for lenses. No, not physical lenses, but software lenses. Add-ons for the camera that improve functionality. Nokia bundled its own Nokia Smart Cam, which assists you in taking special shots, like best shot, action shot, motion blur, best face, and the ability to remove unwanted objects. On top of everything, there's always the dedicated shutter release button, which is a prerequisite on Windows phones. Unfortunately, a very rare option on other devices. The HTC One's viewfinder is packed with options, from live effects to custom modes, and you always know which mode you're in because of the graphical representation on the screen. Just like on the Lumia 925 with the Nokia Smart Cam, HTC can deliver a cornucopia of shooting modes through Zoe's. Shooting consecutive frames allows the user to do everything that the Lumia 925 user can, and more. For an in-depth look at the camera features on the HTC One, make sure to read our full review, as well as watch our HTC One special camera and gallery video. We will compare camera quality between these two phones and others in an upcoming dedicated camera-oriented shootout, so make sure to subscribe to our social media channel so you don't miss it. But you came here for a comparison, and what would a comparison be without sample images? So here they are. In bright, sunny outdoors, they both deliver exceptional results. The Lumia 925 delivers superior pictures though. Despite the ultra-pixel camera that is supposed to take more light in than any other shooter, the one is no match for the Lumia 925 in low light, poorly lit situations. Exceptional sensitivity and optical image stabilization result in a far superior low light experience. The Lumia 925 simply loves the dark, where itself starts to shine. To wrap everything up, there is no real winner here aside from the user. You can't go wrong with either of these two phones. They're both exceptionally designed and built and are a joy to use. However, you'll have to consider that the Lumia 925's camera is slightly superior to the camera on the HTC One. By all means, not a bad camera, just one which could have been better in some aspects. That, plus your choice of Windows Phone versus Android, which is a choice only you can make based on your personal preference and needs. Everyone, that's gonna do it for today for our HTC One versus Nokia Lumia 925 video. I've been Anton Dina. You can follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter. Stay tuned to Pocket now. We have more coming on the Lumia 925, including the full review sometime this week. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time.